This afternoon, the local government building in Tuzla was set ablaze. The protesters are mainly Bosnian Muslims, but this isn't about religion or ethnicity. It's about unemployment and the closure of a local factory. Some demonstrators tried to take over the building, but were forced out by the flames. They marched past the government building in Banja Luka, shouting, thieves, thieves. We're borrowing money from international lenders, but our economy doesn't function. It's obvious to everyone in Bosnia and Herzegovina that large companies are being destroyed, that privatization was done disastrously, and that corruption and crime are widespread. The conflict in Bosnia lasted from 1992 until 95, when the warring parties agreed a power-sharing system based on ethnic quotas. Fighting gave way to elections, but Bosnians have been disappointed by how the economy has stagnated. In Zenica, youths threw stones at government buildings, smashing the windows and destroying the credibility of the protests in the eyes of many. Some protesters concealed their identities. Many of the injured were policemen. Everybody is rather surprised um, by the violence that we are seeing because on the one hand you do have people who are justly dissatisfied with, uh, with the situation in the country and who do require employment and uh, better salaries, etc., etc. So these requests are justified. But on the other hand, you do have groups of people who are using this situation to really um, start a lot of trouble. A mob of youths attacked the local government office in Mostar. They brought out office furniture to destroy and later went on to the municipal library. It's not clear if these attacks are orchestrated, but they're certainly not peaceful protest. In Sarajevo, they set the presidency ablaze. Some local administrations resigned today. General elections are due in November. But these Bosnians clearly have little faith in democracy to bring about change in a country that never achieved peace, just the absence of war.